Hey! Um, I'm chilling right now, but welcome back to another news video. You know me, I'm back with more record news, of course. And, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna chill for a sec. Don't, don't mind me, I'm just gonna go to bed. <clears throat> Let me know if I got you down inside the comments below. Anyways, for this news video, before we get started, I would love, just love, if you guys decided to use my code inside a rec room. It's basically like giving me free money, it's a supporter creator code, and it provides no additional charge to you, of course. Also, like this video right now. Like it. Right now. Anyways, if you guys haven't logged on to Rec Room recently, we just got a new weekly shop. This is the Pool Party Shop. It has some cool features like being able to sit down or lay down inside this chair, and you can even jump on this board. So it's got some cool stuff to it, and here are the new items that you guys can see. As you guys can see, I'm not broke. Be sure to let me know if I should do like a gifting stream or something like that. I, I really don't mind. But for this item set, we do have something for, you know, full body avatars, which are these shorts, and we even have this cute little rubber ducky buddy. What should we name him? Best name inside the comments gets pinned. We'd also got a pretty banging rec center shop. We really don't get good items, but these are pretty good items. We had a sword skin, which is the musical skin. We also have a dodgeball skin and even a laser grenade skin as well. Nothing. Oh, no way. This is new. I love that. I didn't even take a photo of this yet. Man, man. That is so awesome. That's a good buggy skin. I'm not going to lie. Over here on our board, you guys will figure out that we have a new featured creator, DJI Core. This guy has been on the board like three times in the past like two months. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. I don't know. I've just seen DJI so much on featured creator. Now we talked about the featured creator and stuff like that, but what happens if you wanted to be on this board? Well, you can! As long as you're a creator inside of Rec Room and make exceptional content, you can apply to be on this board, and I of course will have the links to be able to apply to become a featured creator down inside the description below. Now I talked about this inside my last video, but featured rooms, just sort of like featured creators, is higher inside the play carousels, meaning that more players will see featured rooms. If you guys want to feature your room inside a rack room, I also have a link where you guys can apply and stuff like that. And of course, apply! Why don't you want to become rack room famous already? Hurry up. Do it. I see you in the screen. I see you sitting down right there eating chips. Do it right! Unfortunately, the Weekly Gods didn't provide us a weekly rotation image this week, so in case you are a Redelicate Research Lab member, we have a new survey. It should have been sent to your email, and it got sent to mine. And I forgot to show you guys the new discounts. I have no idea how I do that. Discounted offers, and as you guys can see, these are all the discounted items that we have for this week. Now, before we actually continue on with this video, I have some news that was submitted by people like you. If you don't know already, I have a Discord server where you can connect with my community and be able to tell me news or connect with me and stuff like that. I'm pretty active on there. I have almost 2k people on there, so if you wanted to join, it would be awesome to have you. The only thing I would really say is that I just ping a lot. Other than that, though, if you guys want a pretty active Discord server and want to be able to send me news like the news I'm just about to cover right now, then feel free to join my Discord server. Link in description. Now, I have been shown a broken Holotar. Apparently someone was messing around with Holotars and this had happened to them. Crazy. Pretty scary if you ask me. People were also figuring out that there's now favorite rooms on rec.net now. You can now look at all the favorite rooms on your account and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Now I had a new shop UI, but I had lost that piece of news so I can't show you guys it now. If you have new shop UI, I would love a picture though. The buttons inside the shop UI are more rounded instead of being square now. It looks kind of different and you should be able to tell. Someone was also gifting gifted quest items. This is most likely a hacker and honestly just a super strange thing that I thought I'd share on the channel. And just for a little intermission inside the video here, I just want to say this. I'm a part of a Minecraft SMP. As cringe as it sounds, trust me, it's not so cringe because other video partners like me are inside this SMP as well. It's called the Rec SMP. I'll be streaming it on my channel every single day if I can and stuff like that. And of course, join in. Why not? If you like Minecraft stuff, you'll like it. And uh, I think you even like my Minecraft skin more. And in other news, we have a new Rooms 2.0 tutorials. Rekrum goes on to say, We know there are still quite a bit of bugs with Rooms 2.0, but as we continue to bring 2.0 to the beta stage, we highly recommend getting familiar with its features. But we understand that it can be difficult to grasp them. 
So we heard you, and we've come out with five new tutorials. These go over building assets, using hierarchies, circuits, and player properties in your own 2.0 room. So check out on our new page below and let us know what kind of rooms 2.0 content you would like to see inside this channel. Then they have this rooms 2.0 link that goes into exploring rooms 2.0. In this link, they say there's a lot of new great features that can be used in rooms 2.0, but they can be difficult to understand at first. That's why we come out with these brand new rooms 2.0 tutorials. You can now build, clone, and create as many assets as you like without having to merge them into the same container. You can also use group containers, put circuits into containers, and organize your creative content in a way that makes sense to you and others. This of course is just the start, more features will be added over time if you want to learn how to use these features, you can check out their videos below. Now they go on to 5 different videos and there's like this little subtext that will tell you what the actual video goes over and stuff like that. For example, the first video goes over creating a room and save, room settings, publishing a room, and add a co-owner. The next one would be creator tool tools, tool settings, palette, and so on and so forth. I of course will have the link down inside the description below, so you guys should totally check out my description. Alright, I'm not gonna tell you this easy, but you better join my channel memberships right, right now. I have a bunch of perks which you guys can check out inside the join button next to the subscription button, and you guys get shouted out in all of my videos. So, to the current people that are already channel memberships, let's get started! Anyways, massive shout out to these people who include Ultral2, Mufi, Abby, Young Creator, Chazzy VR, Jordan the Wolf IT, Dead Channel, PFG on VR, At Classy, Dino Pie, Nat the Pup, S Plus Mini, At Carl the Skunk, Hockey Boy, Turkey, Jack Tutorial, Gasly, Garlic Bread, It's Ready RR, Dozer Blade Cat, BBB Burning Owl, Bucket Guy, Yoach, Jinky, Raphael, Cloud, Netflix 69, and of course, Box David. That's all of our memberships, and of course, I love you, my squidlings. I love you. Thank you so much. And of course, let's get back to the video. I have all my important links always in my descriptions and if I don't for some reason please send me a comment or something like that they go on to say my little asset packs at your service and if you're inspired by our newest 2.0 RRO my little monsters we've come with in-game and rec room studio assets which you can use to give your room a cryptid creek vibe and they have the download link for that if you guys are interested in any of that stuff you guys can join the creator hub discord server and you guys will see it inside the rec room updates channel we then had another announcement too, talking about doubling ink limits. Let's talk about it. Exciting news! We're doubling ink limits in Rooms 1.0, yup, doubling! Check out how we did this and why on our news hub here. They then have a article link where they go into detail just talking about why they doubled ink limits. They start off by saying, exciting news. We're doubling the ink limits in Rooms 1.0 and yup, you heard that right, doubling. Unleash your creativity and put those objects in that you were desperate to have. We're so excited to see what y'all do with this. But wait a minute, it was only two months ago that we retired what was commonly known as Limits V2, so what gives? Back in May, we wrote about the work we've been doing to improve Requiem's memory usage, and their team has been plugging away at crawling back memory from the core Requiem app. This was slow and detailed work that was designed to free up memory so that rooms would see clearer and obvious performance gains and reduce crash rates. And it worked! We focused on iOS and saw the crash rate lower by 82% over the last year. Just look at that line treading down, and they have this little graph to show it off. A benefit of tackling memory the way we did by grinding out all hard technical changes on the app is that we actually freed up memory across all platforms, not just iOS. That means every time we reduce memory, we also reduce those crazy high crash rates in the heavier ink rooms. We know creators want to make more complex rooms and bigger rooms that make for more interesting play experiences, so their old ink limit kept us all in the safe zone where the rooms would load and players would have good experiences. With all the memory savings though, we can now double those ink limits, and with more ink equals more stuff equals even more room potential. The chart below shows how we've been reduced crash rates in ink heavy rooms this year. Then they have this little graph showing off iOS crash rate versus ink. As you guys can see, the blue line is earlier this year and the orange line is later this year, closer to now. As there's no numerical values, it just seems like the orange line is just lower when it comes to crash rates and stuff like that, and you love to see it. While we're excited to bring more ink to Rooms 1.0, their primary focus is improving Rooms 2.0. The architecture in Rooms 2.0 means no ink limits, personalized in-room economies, compound objects, and hierarchical building, unlocking game experiences not currently possible. We will be adding even more functionality and features into Rooms 2.0, so keep your eyes peeled for more updates on the Creator Hub, and check out our Rooms 2.0 tutorials. In the meantime, if we make creation even better right now, we will. So enjoy expanded ink limits immediately in Rooms 1.0. Have at it. And have at it, we will, Rec Room. Of course, what are your guys' thoughts? Be sure to let me know down inside the comments below. I'm not a big builder, so, you know, this is great news to hear for all the building folks inside of Rec Room, and hopefully they're happy.
Um, anyways, that was our video. Like, subscribe. Bye!